Hey guys, back again. It's the mini awesome cast for awesomecast.net for this April 8th, 2015. And today we're going to talk about translation. There's a couple of things. One, there's a story that came across the verge, uh, across my desk this morning, uh, talking about Skype's real time translator now speaks Italian and Chinese. Now, this is something that they've been kind of uh, test running for a bit here. And, and that idea that you can sit there in a call. Hand a call and uh, and just speak your language, and it pops up the text of what, the, or I don't know, maybe it does a language uh, as well. It wouldn't be that great if it just it, it just gave that back. <laughs> um, I'm getting comments from the meerkat already. Uh, but anyways, uh, but they've been trial trialing the software uh, that automatically translates voice calls between people, uh, which I think is another point to breaking down those barriers. And I think it's a really cool idea. And, and this works and in all accounts, from what I understand, it works pretty handily so far. Uh, Google apparently is also working on similar translation capabilities. And this is where I go for the anecdote right here. Uh, vi uh, recently visiting uh, the family uh, over the weekend for Easter, and I love I love visiting my mom's side of the family. Like my grandfather um, is is the uh, you know son of Lithuanian immigrants, and uh, his brother uh, in his nineties is actually was born in Lithuania, knows a little bit of Lithuania, and has fun with it. And also uh, he he uses his he has a Google phone. He has looks like one of those Moto X kind of phones, right? And uh, pure Google experience. He's like, how do I do this? Although he did like kind of hand it to me say how do i turn this volume up and it was a, just a matter of the case just doesn't line up right with his volume controls right um but he's sitting there and he's doing the google translate and and you know testing his you know kind of keeping up with his lithuanian speaking why do you need that anywhere uh today in in the middle of pittsburgh i don't know well actually if you go to, if you go have coffee on the wendy's over in banksville i don't know which language they're speaking but it's definitely eastern european um at about nine in the morning certainly um but anyways I, I, and this is exciting for me i you know uh, i'm really i love hearing that kind of i love living in a city um and hearing different languages you know, uh, be it my neighbors two doors down that are very Mexican and love having grills on their back patio. And I just chill and watch Louie on my uh, Netflix on my iPad and, and listen to the party going on. I have no idea what's going on. Um, or, you know, just like going down the street and, and, and hearing stuff or hearing the, the, the Polish coffee club that I run into at, at Wendy's. Um, but but that this barrier has been shut, just, just lowered so much uh, in translation. It really kind of makes this a world, um, a world. If we have a joke from uh, Nero's telling me in the mirror cat that uh, that that it it, it uh, translates to he's speaking Esper Esperanto right now, uh, for instance. Hey, but that would be great too. I mean, seriously, the pull up mirror cat. I mean, how many times? Uh, okay, I don't know how many of you guys experience uh, experimenting in this uh, factor, but you know, I, we saw Alex Lindsay's ro rolling around uh, Rwanda with his thing on. You know, and and and, and you know, how many people could be dropping in there from different languages and and have that be a possibility? Now, well, mirror cat's kind of a low level app i think but i think you know they could roll in something like the skype technology or something or, or google's uh, translate technology maybe if they had an api that 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 fed into apps like this right uh, i i think the possibilities are endless it really kind of uh shrinks our world even more and uh makes us one people there you go uh there's your there's your thought of the day so let me know what do you think about uh not only skype's real-time translator but these tools in general and what they're doing for us for you know helping with these other languages you know hey if this is the way that you get to communicate with other people and don't have to spend think of the man hours that you didn't have to spend learning a different language for whatever reason right um but anyway so let me know at sorgatron on the twitter and of course uh comments to this video or on the blog post if you're listening to the audio at awesomecast.net and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, check out Awesome Cast um, episode 243, I think is the number for this week. We had DJ Lunchbox, uh, Will Rutherford of PanelRiot.com, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and Sawtooth Willie, maybe, uh, on to let us know what he his thoughts on going a month without social media and podcasting. Uh, really interesting discussion we had about that and its effects on our minds. So please check that out and see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.